Students were given this question, we are expected to find the Laplace inverse of log of s squared positive 1 divided by s of s positive 1. So what I wish to do is, I would like to start off like this. If f of t is equal to L inverse of log of say s squared positive 1 divided by s into s positive 1, if this is the situation then t times f of t is equal to L inverse of now uh, this is going to be negative d over ds of log of s squared positive 1 divided by s into s positive 1 so this is what we have got now what I would do is first I would take the negative sign out and then before I could operate with d over ds what I will do is, I will use the logarithmic concept. Log of A over B is equal to log A, negative log B. This is one thing we know. And then we also know log of A times B is log A plus log B. So with this, I'm going to rewrite this as log of S squared positive 1, negative log of S into S positive 1. Right? So this is what we have got. Now, I further can use log of AB is equal to log A plus log B for this logarithmic component. So, this is going to be negative L inverse of D over DS of log of S squared positive 1. This is fine. I'm bringing D over DS inside. So, this is going to be D over DS of this is going to be log S positive log of S positive 1 okay and L inverse goes for the entire term now if I were to differentiate d over I mean differentiate log of s squared positive 1 this is going to be 1 over s squared positive 1 times differentiation of s squared positive 1 that's going to be 2 times s followed by d over ds of log x that's going to be 1 over s and you get a negative sign so negative differentiation of uh, log of 1 over uh, s positive 1 is going to be 1 over s positive 1. So this is what you have got. Now I can bring in the sign but anyway I will just uh, have the negative sign outside and uh, I'll rewrite this as L inverse of 2 times s divided by s squared positive 1 and L inverse of 1 over s and then L inverse of 1 over s positive 1 right now by linearity I can rewrite this as 2 times L inverse of s over s squared positive 1 L I can apply L inverse but just for sake of consistency I refrain from doing it so I'll just rewrite all the terms one more time so this is what I've got of course the negative sign has to be placed outside the parenthesis so this is going to be two times L inverse of s over s squared positive 1 that is going to give us cos t this is going to give us 1 and this is going to give us e raised to the power of negative t if I were to bring the negative sign inside then this is going to be negative 2 times cos t positive 1 positive e raised to the power of negative t but this is nothing but t times f of t right so if I want to just have f of t, then I bring the t down. So this is going to be 1 over t times. I start with writing 1 first. And then I will write e raised to the power of negative t next. Followed by negative 2 times cos t. So this is the solution to the question, students.